Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, what we're gonna do is we are gonna be comparing the performance of the 16-inch MacBook M1 Max versus the M1 13-inch model. So this one here, obviously, is a 16-inch model. That's a 13-inch model. That's the M1. That's the M1 Max. And in this video, what I'm gonna do exactly is I am going to take my iPhone 13 Pro Max and I'm gonna record a Pro res video so as you know iphone 13 pro max is capable of recording 4k 30 frames per second pro res video and all i'm gonna do is i'm gonna record a five minute pro res video on my iphone 13 pro max and then i'm gonna import that into these laptops and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna launch final cut pro and i'm going to export that project and what i want to see personally is how much more faster the M1 Max is the M1. So let's dive in and get started. Of course, I have a phone right over here, which I'm gonna be using as a timer to time the speed of the export of a ProRes file. All right, so the ProRes file has been recorded. It is right over here. It is a five minute file. I'm gonna show you guys. If I click on get info, uh, you'll notice that this file is 26.69 gigabytes. And if I click on more info, you can see it's an iPhone 13 Pro Max recording. Uh, it is the ProRes format, as you can see. That's the 4K, and it's five minutes long. Now, what I'm gonna do is I am going to launch Final Cut Pro on the smaller M1 Pro. That's a 13 inch M1 Pro, okay? And I do have a project I'm gonna use in there real quick. So let's grab it. It is right here, we have the project. That is my ProRes file. And as you can see, I have it already in the timeline just to save time. So it's sitting at the timeline and here it is. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna click on this button. I'm gonna say export file. When I wanna export the file, you can see if I go to my settings, this is going to be a ProRes 422 file, 4K, and it's gonna be 21.71 gigabytes after I export it, that's the final product. So all I'm gonna do now is I have my phone right here, okay? And then I'm gonna do, click on next. It's gonna ask me to save it somewhere. I'm just gonna save it on the desktop. Just put that X name. I'm gonna click save. I'm gonna start the timer. And then I'm gonna go to my background process right over here. And you can see, it has started to share that video. So it's exporting that video. And you can see it is, uh, for a ProRes format, it is pretty fast. It's going at 8%, 10%, so 10% in 22 seconds, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I am going to quickly fast forward this video so you guys can see the end result. Right now we're at 35 seconds and it is at 17%. So let's fast forward, see what's happening. Real quick, we are at 59%, and if I look over here, you can see that's almost two minutes for 61%, all right? All right, so the, the file just got shared successfully, boom, we've got 3.13, 3.10 seconds, okay? Now we are gonna do the same thing. This is the exported file, by the way, so let me just X this out. Here's the project in the background, it's finished. We're gonna do the same thing over here. So let me launch Final Cut Pro over here as well. Okay, takes a couple seconds here, all good to go. And we already have a project, okay? It's the Test ProRes project. Uh, that's the file right here. Okay, let me just change the view. So that's the file and the project. And here's the project, again, five minutes, same exact thing. Now we're gonna go over here, we're gonna click on export. We're gonna use all the same settings. If I go to my settings over here, Apple ProRes 4K, video and audio, and it's the QuickTime player and all, all that, it's gonna end up being 22.44 gigabytes. So here's the first run. I'm gonna reset this guy. And now I'm gonna say next. I'm just gonna give it a name. Okay, let's just X, put an X here. And we're gonna save, I'll start the process. Timer is over there. And if I look at my background, oh my God. Total utter insanity is happening. Where's that, there we go. 
So we're already at 32% in 13 seconds. Let's watch what happens here. This thing is absolutely flying. 23 seconds, we are at 74%. Well, we're almost done over here. Done. So that was 33, 35 seconds, it's already shared. So the M1 Max is a total insanity of a product, especially if you're somebody that wants to edit videos with heavy duty codecs like the ProRes. So again, that file that I uh, processed and exported again, it is right here. This thing is, let's see, this thing is 21.12 gigabytes, 4K, ProRes, transcode and export that in 35 minutes. Oh, I'm sorry, 35 seconds. This guy took over three minutes to do the same thing. And that's a fast computer. Okay, so MacBook Pro with M1, MacBook Pro 16 inch with M1 Max. And I do wanna let you know if you are editing, and I do wanna let you know if you are editing uh, 1080p video at 60 frames per second, or even 4K video with a different light duty codec, uh, they're gonna give you similar performance. But when you step into the heavy duty stuff, this thing absolutely kills it, okay? So I just wanna make a quick video to show you that I purchased this and I wanted to justify my purchase because I'm thinking of working with these uh, heavy duty codecs for different projects. And in my case, I am gonna be keeping the laptop and I'll just sell this guy. All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.